Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? I hope uh, you understand my last video properly, right? What is functional programming and what is a reactive programming? So, before we dive into concepts and uh, all those uh, theories and how we use it, I want to showcase in a very simple example what is a reactive programming and how we can use it, right? And write the same program in an ordinary way and also in a reactive uh, programming way with the Rx and then to compare what are the additional benefits we get when we do the reactive programming, right? So full disclosure, this example is not something what I have designed myself, right? So this example was there on the uh, ReactiveX uh, IO website when I learned reactive programming or when I learned the RxJx. That was four years back in 2017, right? When, my, when I started my previous project, um, I was looking into this uh, reactive programming. By that time, this example was there. But when I check today, this example they have removed, but my, this example inspired by that. So this is not completely an example what I have designed, right? But I think, I believe, uh, this is a very simple way I can uh, explain what the reactive programming is. So I'm using it. And make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and make sure you share with friends so they will also subscribe okay so I'm using JS bin here so what I'm going to do is I'll take a console um, as well and the output and also JavaScript here so you can see uh, how this works right so what I'm going to do is uh, first I'm going to add um, reactive here so you can do this very simply by going to reactive website and use a CDN link, right? But since I'm using this, I'm going to uh, use the shortcut. But um, so I'm going to use this one, RxJS503, uh, right? But feel free, go to uh, uh, reactivex.io website and go to your platform and you can use a CDN, okay? So I'm going to use a uh, button here and say uh, click me, okay? So I got the button. So here, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use first the program in an ordinary way, right? Without any reactive or anything, I'm going to write the program in an ordinary way, right? So I'm going to get the uh, button, right? So now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to uh, catch the event here and do a console log, okay? So I'm going to use uh, add event listener. So I'm going to use click event. And I can use uh, ES6 style here, arrow function. Okay, so this is my simple program. Okay, so what I'm going to do is now, I'm going to play this console and I'm going to click this. Right, so you can see uh, it clicked the circuit it print the uh, circuit right but when i keep uh, pressing this button when i keep click on so you can see there are few events fire on the same um, circuit okay so if you want you can get like uh, get minutes as well okay something like this so now it will be more clear oops Right, so you can see here, but when I keep clicking this button, you can see uh, there are multiple values come on the same circuit. Okay, right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this program with RxJS. Right. So since I have added the Rx library here, I can directly use that. So what I'm going to do is Rx dot observable. So I'm going to pass the button here and I'm going to call the click event, right? So now, so now I just use the observable, right? But nothing would happen here because I need to subscribe to this, right? Because how observe pattern works in the last video we discussed, uh, subject is emit data and you need to subscribe to that to get the results consume it right so I'm going to subscribe it so I'm going to use same thing here so 
okay so now I'm going to comment this and to make sure so this is the say this is the new one I'm going to add some um, something here say time okay so now we know this is not from the previous uh, line and this is from the new line okay so now what I'm going to do here see I'm going to run this oops um, it just did nothing mm, probably we have here it's pretty mistake so now just try again okay so now it's again print the time right so now it says time here because we added that line to make sure this is not the this commented line and this is a new line okay because this commented line you don't have a time okay so now we are so sure but what is the difference right with the plain vanilla javascript you can run the same program and same results with the using observable and rxjs you have the same results nothing different right so if that is the case why we need um, RxJS. Okay, so this is my requirement now. I want to make sure no matter how many times I click the button. So see now if I click, keep clicking, right? So there are multiple entries for same second. But I want to throttle this request only one per second get executed, right? Only one time per every second get execute this one. Okay. So can I do this with the vanilla plain vanilla JavaScript? Yes, of course, right? How you can do this? You need to take the current time in the user click and click the uh, calculate the next time which user is supposed to click by minus one, uh, one millisecond and uh, then uh, minus one millisecond means plus thousand second and uh, thousand millisecond i mean uh, plus thousand millisecond and subtract one millisecond which is 99 999 milliseconds sorry about the confusion and then when the, whenever the user click that you can see uh, whether this time is passed or not like that it's, it's a really complicated logic uh, if you want to implement that but how we can do this with the Rx, right? So what you can do is simply you say throttle here. Right? Throttle time is thousand. Okay? Throttle time is thousand. I just had one line. And right? so now I'm going to add. So you see, I'm clicking this, keep clicking this, but every one at uh, one time, only one print at every second, right? So now, if I had to implement this using uh, plain manage hours, I'm not, I'm not going to kill your time by doing that. That is a logic, right? You need to uh, keep, I mean, you need to manually handle it simple. What the time use the last click, uh, then I shouldn't allow to uh, click again within the same second or something like that, right? But this is here, it's very easy, right? So in this video, I didn't try to teach you uh, Rx Java or how to use Rx Java. First video, I explain you what the reactive programming and functional programming. In this video, I just show what we can do with this Rx Java, right? Right. If you want, uh, you can like add some filtering here, right? Or any map here, right? There are functions in RxJS which we are going to uh, discuss in uh, future videos. You can add any of these here. As I said, we can chain it, right? So, for example, let's say you want to uh, print this if the time is an uh, uh, odd number or the uh, sorry, number of seconds, odd number or even number, right? Uh, you can add some logic here. Uh, after, if you put the uh, function after the throttle time, then the function also will get hit uh, one at a time, one at every second. But if you put is above the throttle time, then that function will get hit every time, but throttle will. Uh, do uh, after that so likewise order is matters you can do whatever you want right so I'll come up with the, like uh, chaining logics and everything this video is completely just for show you what uh, RFJ is capable of doing okay so then uh, me, uh, I'll see you in the next video and till that stay safe and take care make sure you subscribe and share with your friends also so they can subscribe stay safe take care